Hi everybody. What's going on today? Today's a blessed day. Every day's a blessed day. You know, the Lord told me to go to the book of Matthew and uh, feed you a little word, you know, about when he came, when he was born, and what all happened, and uh, everything, because, you know, they have gotten so far away from why everybody celebrates Christmas. I mean, on the television, it's buy this, this sale here, get this product here, online websites, this, that. But nobody talks about Jesus. Nobody. But today, I'm going to talk about Jesus. I'm bringing you this because the Lord told me to. Right now, I'm going to pray that the Lord opens up your eyes. Yahweh, my Father, my precious Father, open up their understanding to the Scriptures. Allow them to feel your power and your might. Bless them that are watching this. Heal those that need your healing, Father, that believe in your heart that you can and will heal them because your word says, Jesus said that whatever you ask the Father, Yahweh, in the name of Jesus, in his name, that shall the Father give you. Believe him in your heart. We believe that you are our healer. We believe that you are our creator. We believe that you are our Father. We glorify you and we praise you. And we ask you, Lord, to keep us under the shadow of your wings, in the palm of your hands. We worship you, Father. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia unto thee, Yahweh, my heavenly Father. I ask this in the name of your holy and powerful Son, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. All right, everybody, let's turn, to our, let's turn our Bibles over to the book of Mark. We're going to skip over the generations, but we know that it's written if you want to know what generations are which and all. We know that there were 14 generations, but we're going to go to the first chapter of Matthew. Mainly I'm going to do a little bit of reading. Let the Holy Ghost have his way. First chapter, verse 18 says, uh, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with the child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately, privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled with the spoken of the Lord by the prophets, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph being raised from sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him and took unto him his wife Mary and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and he called his name Jesus. Now we're going into chapter 2. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah, art not 
the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. But he was lying. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. They worshipped Jesus, even as a babe. They worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts of gold and frankincense and mirth. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt and, there, and was there until the death of Herod the king, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked to the wise men, was exceedingly wroth, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, and in all the coast thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, In Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted because they are not. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and go into the land of Israel, for they are dead, which sought the young child's life. And Joseph arose and took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus did reign in Judea in the room of his father, Herod, he was afraid to go thither, notwithstanding being warned of God in a dream, he turned aside into the parts of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet. He shall be called a Nazarene. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Now we're going to go over to the book of Luke. We're going to start chapter uh, 2. We're going to work from the verse 1 all the way to uh, verse 21. And it came to pass in those days and went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxi was first made as Serenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be taxed with Mary as the spouse wife, being great with child. Mary was still carrying Jesus. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field 
keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid, and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is called Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go up even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord Yahweh has made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them according to this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them within her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen that day as it was told unto them. And when the eight days were accomplished with the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, Yeshua in Hebrew, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Praise God, Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus, Yeshua, is the Lord Jesus' name in Hebrew. But well, we know him as Jesus, Yahshua, the very same, the very same person, Jesus, the son of Yahweh. Okay, now let's go over here to uh, the book of uh, the gospel according to John. John was the apostle that Jesus loved so much. He was always leaning on the breasts of Jesus. So let's see what's going on here. In John's account. In the beginning was the Word, and we know the Word is Jesus, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with Yahweh our God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light, it shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. And even till this day, they still cannot comprehend it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. But all men through him, that all men through him might be believed, might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. <clears throat> and the world knew him not. He came on to his own and his own received them not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. There's some power in the name of Jesus. There's some power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of the blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God, of Yahweh, 
our Heavenly Father, our God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus made everything. He made everything for himself. He made us. He made the stars that shine so beautifully at night, the sun that gives us warmth and light. He made the moon that lighteth up by night. And he is the word of Yahweh our God. Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, it says, For unto us a child is born. This is way before Jesus was born. I'm talking about probably around 800 years before Jesus came to the womb of that precious woman called Mary. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So let's all worship the Prince of Peace. Let's all do what we're supposed to do. Let's worship Jesus. The wise men came with their gifts and they worshiped him while he was wrapped in swaddling clothes in the arms of Mary, his mother. They worshipped him. When he was taken up into the clouds, and they saw him to be taken up, and they left and headed back toward Bethany, the word of God says, and they worshipped him, praising Yahweh. Oh, hallelujah. Let's worship him, for he is worthy. He is worthy to be praised and to be worshipped. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because you have showed me great things. I thank you for those that are following us here on the internet, on Google Plus, on the people, the Jesus people, and the collection page, the chosen work of Jesus. I thank you for all those folks that you are bringing there. I ask you to save them, fill them with your spirit, bless their life every day. Bless them, heal them, deliver them from the bondage of sin. Father, I love you with all my heart. Thou knowest. And I ask all this in the name of your son, Yahweh, in the name of your son, Yahweh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the Yahweh. Hallelujah, Yahweh, hallelujah. Amen and amen. I will see you guys next time. God bless you. And may the Lord reign richly within your heart. In the name of Jesus. Don't forget to help the poor and the needy no matter who it is. If it's a, 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 a bag lady, help her out. If you see a child with no shoes on their feet, go and buy that, that baby some shoes and some clothes. If you run up on a family that has no food in the refrigerator, go fill the refrigerator with food. Jesus said, do good unto the poor. Don't forget them. Don't forget them. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah.